Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So there's important things you should know before you go solving it is that you want to memorize these moves to make. So like right, left, top, bottom, front, and back. So like the right side is going to be R, left side is going to be L, and then U is the top. And then D is the bottom. D means down. U is up. L is left. R is right. And then F and B are front and back. And then when I do an R prime or L prime, it means I'm turning it counterclockwise. So when I say prime, it means counterclockwise. So now... Let's scramble it up and I'll show you how to solve it. That looks pretty scrambled. Okay, so the first step is you want to make a white cross around the center piece right here. To do that, we're going to find white pieces that match the colors they're on. So like this is a red piece and white piece. So we're going to turn it to the red side and then flip it around and that puts it on the white cross. This is an orange piece, but how are we going to get it over to here? Well, if we move it up here, it knocks the red out of place. So instead, we're going to do an F2, which means flipping the front and then put this piece right up here and if you get something like this all you have to do is just turn this piece once it can be clockwise or counterclockwise depending on where the piece is if it's right here it's clockwise if it's over here counterclockwise so yeah do that and you'll have to practice this a while but the hardest part is getting the last piece in here because if I turn it to the blue side and flip it, it's flipped, so I can't do that. Instead, I'm going to turn the front, knocking the red out of place, bringing the blue side up to there, and then putting the red side back. And that's how you solve the white cross. The next step is to solve the first layer on the bottom and the white side. So, we're going to use a piece right here. This piece is a blue and red piece, and it also has white on it. So, we're going to turn it to the blue and red side, and then we're going to do an algorithm. And you're going to have to memorize this algorithm that puts that piece into here. So, that algorithm is R, U, R prime, U prime. So, memorize that algorithm. So... What we do is we turn the colors that it's at in between the colors, and then we do the algorithm. So, if you don't remember what it is, it's R, U, R prime, U prime. And that puts it right here, so do it again. Puts it up here, so you only have to do it one more time. And that puts that piece in there. Again with this one, turn it to the red and green area. And do R, U, R prime, U prime. And then with this one, turn it to the green and orange area. And do the algorithm three times. That puts this piece in here. The next step is to solve the middle layer. So how we're going to do that is we're going to find a piece that matches its color. Like this is a blue and orange. You want this piece over here where this piece is. So we're going to turn it away from... We always want the bottom of the color to match the color in the center. So after that, we're going to turn it away from it. And then we're going to do R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. And that puts that piece in there. So I'll have the algorithm showing up on the screen 
Now I'm going to do it with this piece. So turn it away from the red side. And then we're going to do the left algorithm, which is L prime U L U F U prime F prime. And that puts it, that piece in there. So if this piece, if the piece it needs to go is on the right side, then you do the right algorithm. If it's on the left side, you do the left algorithm. So how we're going to put this piece in here, that will also take this piece out so we can put it in here. We're going to turn it away and then do the right algorithm. I'll repeat it one more time so you know. It's R U R prime U prime F prime U F. And then one more time with this one. Turn it away, and then do R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. And that puts that piece in there, and now we've solved the middle layer. The next step is to solve the yellow cross around the yellow center, just like the white cross. So if you get a boomerang shape like this right here, then you do F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime, and that gives you the yellow cross. Or another example is you could get just this line across the top right here. If you get that, you want to tilt it to where this line is facing like a dash. Don't tilt it to where it's like this, but like this. And then do F R U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So I'll have those algorithms showing up on the screen and make sure you memorize those. And if you don't get anything at all, then you just do the algorithm twice. And that should solve the yellow cross. The next step is to solve the yellow side. So we got the cross right here. Now if, if you get a fish shape right here, then you're going to want to do it from here where the head of the fish is pointing to the bottom left. And then you're going to do R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. So memorize that algorithm right there. And now it's over here. When you get this yellow piece right here, that means you're almost done solving the yellow side. So just do the algorithm one more time. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And then that solves the yellow side. But another example is you could get just this yellow plus up here, if you get that, then you look at these two yellow corners that are facing each other and then turn it to the right of those yellow corners and do the algorithm, which is R U R prime, U R U two R prime, and that gives you the fish with the fish food, is what I call it. And then another example is you could get what I call a top heavy, it's where it's like there's one edge piece that's solved and then you have the cross on the top but these two corners are also solved but these two are flipped. That's the hardest one. If you get that, so if you get it to where there's no yellow corners over here, then you just turn it to the right of where it's facing down like a top heavy and you do the algorithm and then you could also get something like this or it looks like a bow tie or something and if you get that you want to go in between this yellow piece right here and this one right here and do the algorithm again and that will give you the fish so do it two more times turn it and that solves the yellow side. The next step and this is also the hardest step is you're gonna want to solve 
all the the last corners on each side and so you have two final corners solved right here this doesn't matter this doesn't have to be solved if there's no final final corners solved on one side it doesn't matter but if there is you turn it to the opposite of the solved corners and then you're gonna do r prime f r prime b2 r f prime r prime b2 r2 and so memorize that algorithm and that should solve the final corners so i'll do it one more time just to show you so you have the final corners solved it doesn't have to be green there doesn't have to be a solved piece right here it just you just have to have the final corners solved and you do r prime f r prime b2 r f prime r prime b2 r2 and that solves the final corners so if you get all the final corners solved and then one side is solved you turn it to the opposite side of the solved side but if no side is solved then it doesn't matter but if there is one solved you turn it to the opposite side and then you're gonna do the last algorithm right here to swap these pieces wherever they need to go. So like this piece needs to go here, this needs to go here, and then this needs to be switched. So to switch these two and put this piece right here, we're gonna do the last algorithm. And be careful doing this because if you make a mistake, you'll have to start all over on the cube. So watch carefully. It's gonna be R U prime R U R U R U prime R prime U prime R two. And that solves the Rubik's Cube.